later, Harvey had loaded all the flatbeds ready to be taken to Vickerstown. OK, that's it. This cargo's ready to go. Edward was supposed to pull this load of machinery, but he's been delayed. We'll have to find another engine. Oh, how about Bill and Ben? They're not doing anything. Oh, we just remembered. We have to get back to the clay pits right away. <laughs> That's right. We have such a lot of work to do, you wouldn't believe it. Why don't you take the train, Harvey? You're not just a crane. You're an engine, too. Uh, I don't know. I don't usually pull any of the cargo. Uh, I don't think I'm very good at it. <laughs> Well, you don't have to pull them, Harvey. That's right. You can pick them up with your hook and carry them if you like. Like fish. Yes, like fish. <laughs> Water off a duck's back, remember? Water off a duck's back. Maybe I will take these flatbeds to Vickerstown. That would be an excellent idea. I quite agree. Sir Topham Hatt had just arrived for a very important meeting. Let's get you coupled up, and you can show us what a fine engine you can be. Off to our meeting, then. So, Harvey was coupled up to the line of heavy flatbeds. <coughs> Harvey felt proud as he pulled the heavy flatbeds toward Vickerstown. Harvey was usually only busy when there were things to be lifted. But there was no reason why he couldn't pull things also. I'm not just a crane. I'm an engine, too. Harvey got to Gordon's Hill. As he made his way up the steep slope, the flatbeds got a lot harder to pull. They felt very heavy indeed. Oh, pulling a heavy train uphill is much more difficult than I thought. Oh. Keep going, Harvey. You can do it. That's right, Thomas. I can do it. Oh. Oh. At last, Harvey reached the top of Gordon's Hill. Oh. Uh, I did it! <laughs> <laughs>